All right, it's Tennessee Jeff. Uh, it's the first day of uh, DIV 30. We're out here. Everybody's getting ready to head to head to the field over there. But uh, it started raining a little bit this morning, but uh, it's kind of slacked off. I think we've got a chance about every day. All right, I'll get back with you. All right, uh, this is Tennessee Jeff. Uh, I'm back on the first day of DIV 30. Uh, got my first uh, good target. Dug a lot of square nails. Uh, of course, this ground is pretty hot. And, uh, you guys that uh, hunted up here at uh, Brandy Station, and, uh, you know how hot the ground is. But anyway, I'm using the uh, TDI, trying to figure it out. Uh, and I was at a camp with the rest of them, and it, it was so many people there, you couldn't, I mean, it was hard to walk around without getting uh, interference from other detectors. But anyway, uh, come up on this little hill and walk around and uh, got my first uh, bullet here. Looks to be a 54 caliber. It is a, uh, looks like a ringtail sharps, huh. And then I did nick it with the shovel. dropped pretty good shape but I'm gonna hunker down here for a little while see what I can find hopefully I'll be back all right it's Tennessee Jeff uh, I made it back up here at the camp with the sham and the rest of them uh, after my little walkabout oh <laughs> but uh, I've got a first it's a good signal since I come up here and then it's a button I thought we'd uh, reveal it together It's a squashed eagle chill. Uh, regular uh, general service. Good find, man. All right. Hopefully, I'll be back. All right. Uh, I just dug that button like, right in there and then got a good signal over here, dug down, and uh, it's a piece of lead. No, it's a, it was a uh, bullet. I believe at one time that they uh, hammered out and used for, looks like maybe a pencil. So that's a pretty good find. All right, well, hopefully I'll be back. All right, it's Tennessee Jeff, still on the same hill and uh, still digging bu uh, buttons and knapsack hooks and a few other things, but uh, I think I've got a button right here. I thought, let's give me a high tone on the TDI thought we'd try to get it out together it's going to be a pretty good button looks like big jurist that's staff officer's button if it is it'll be the first one I've ever found got the Shank on it. The staff officer is the one that's got stars around it, isn't it? What's yeah. that? Staff officer? Yeah. Is that what you got? Um, no, it's just regular service general. Well, general service. But anyway, I'll get off here. Hopefully, I'll be back. All right, I'm back after finding that general service and uh, got another good uh, brass signal in the hole. I don't know if you can see the edge of it. It is roundness. Let's see if we can get it up. Dead blink shotgun shell. All right, I'll be All right uh, I'm back with another good uh, button signal. I don't know if you can see it there in the quad. Let's see if we can break it over. Sorry about my runny nose. Nice shank on it. Another general service. It'll take them all day long. Alright, I'll be back. 
All right, it's Tennessee Jeff. Uh, I'm back on the second day of uh, DIV 30. Uh, I'm out in a pretty good sized field. Uh, they said I may find some Confederate stuff out in this field, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, first uh, good signal. It's a uh, fired, uh, it's like a three ring. So you can tell it, I hit it with a shovel, but it is what it is. But anyway, I'll get off here. Hopefully, I'll be back. All right, this is Tennessee Jeff. Uh, I've just been walking through. You can see where I've, there's one, two, three places I've dug, uh, camp led, some of them. But uh, come up here and I got a uh, signal. You can sit there in the ground. It's in there pretty tight. I don't know if I can get it out without scratching it. Of course, I think I already have. Let's see if I can break it up. Yep, it's a fired uh, garden. Yep, good Confederate bullet. All righty, I'll take it. It's been shot, but I mean, hey, I'll still take it. All right, uh, I was poking around this little hillside. Uh, there's not too many people out in this field. Of course, you can see it's, uh, I don't know how many acres it is, probably over 100 anyway but uh it's up on this little hill i walked around the fence roll uh didn't really find nothing a couple pieces of wire uh come back out got a good high tone it's a little pistol bullet i think it's that may be a canister shot yep it's it's iron yep that's what it is little piece of canister shot. All right, well, I'll get back with you. All right, uh, I left that other field, come back where I found the uh, ringtail sharps. Uh, of course, you can see it's thick. I was going to knock some of these briars out of the way and see what I could get to. And uh, got a, uh, it was more or less an iron signal. Kind of, kind of different from an iron signal. I mean, if you know, if you've got a TDI, should know what I'm talking about, but anyway, I dug down and it was pretty deep. Bam, popped out of the hole. It's a silver coin, which it says one dime. I don't know what year it is. Looks to be in good shape. I ain't gonna rub it no more than that just to get a date. 1854. I'll take it all day long. Alrighty, I'll be back with you. Alright, uh, I walked off in the hall a little bit from where I was at. And look what I got. I got another ringtail. Let's get it out of here. Pretty good shape. Alrighty, I'll be back. Hopefully with another ringtail. Alright, I was going along, got a uh, high tone and uh, couldn't find it in the hole. And I finally found it. I don't know what kind of button it was. That nah, looks like a regular general service. I've got now the back. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. All right, uh, swarm back over the hole. Uh, same hole the other button come out of. Got a uh, trouser button. Four hole. Anyway, I'll take it. All right, I was mistaken. Sham found that button. See, it says Excelsior. It's an officer staff. See all the stars? Yeah. That's a pretty the shaft's going off the back, but it's still intact. Yeah, it's Maker's still. mark, but that's a perfect dome. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. See you at the next hole, as my buddy Hornbush would say. Yep. All right, uh, I just now just turned my detector on and uh, got in the mud. 
and it is muddy, but I uh, did find my first shot bullet. I don't know what kind it is, but that's pretty mangled. So, they said they'd, some of them, like they'd never been shot, but a lot of them's mangled, like you would expect. But anyway, uh, hopefully I'll be back for some more. name of the river is, uh, I'll post it on this clip after I figure it out, but anyway. It turned out to be a pretty nice day. It's cooled off. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. Except I dressed for rain and uh, it stopped raining and now I've got hot in these uh, bivved overalls. But anyway, it is what it is. Well, I'm going to get off here and uh, I'm going to hit this hillside a little bit. Just see what I can find. I wish I'd brought my F-75. This ground's a little bit better down here in the woods. Alright. All right. Hopefully I'll be back with something good. Alright, uh, I'm still up here on this uh, hillside digging these bullets. Uh, I don't know how many I've found so far, but uh, uh, it was, it's was it been a few of them. But anyway, i got another one here. Uh, this one's got a little patina on it. You can see it there. There's some turkeys gobbling in the background too. Uh, Some of the ones I've dug is a little bit better shaped than this one. Another three. See so if you can hear them turkeys back here. Look how muddy. This is muddy. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. <clears throat> ah. I don't know if you've been able to see them. Huh? I don't see them yet. I don't even know if you can hear them or not. They're doing a little purring. Maybe you can hear them in the background. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and uh, play around in the mud a little bit more. Alright, here we are back. Uh, got another good target in the hole. I scraped it a little bit with a tool. I can't get that TDI to pinpoint just right. Of course it is. It takes a little getting used to. But another fired three ring. I don't know how many that makes. So I'll just stop counting. But I'll take them all day long. Alright. All right, uh, I'm back on day four. Uh, we just now got out here. It's on a pretty uh, Saturday morning. You can see the mountains in the background. It's a nice view from up here. We got this uh, big cornfield here. We're gonna uh, try to get some uh, Confederate stuff. There's been a couple of blockades found. Buttons. Anyway, it's a pretty good day. Alright, hopefully I'll be back with you with something good. Alright, uh, I'm back with my first good target. It's uh, cold and windy out here, but it's a J hook with the wafer broke off of it. Anyway, hopefully I'll be back. Alright, uh, I'm back with a deep signal. And this was all the way, it was under this piece of cloth. It was, ah, uh, shoot, it was uh, right at a little over a foot deep. And uh, it was a uh, cartridge. So, let me get that one son. It's still pretty good find. All right, hopefully I'll be back with something better. All right, here we are on day four. And uh, sir, what was your name? Doug Stokes. Doug Stokes, uh, Franklin. 
That's it, Franklin, Tennessee. Yep, Franklin, Tennessee. He, uh, he's got a pit open here and uh, possibly got a full bottle. Just got to zoom in on it right there. Yep. All right. I hope it's all there. You know what I'm saying? It's, I hope it's all together. It's not all together. It's all there. I'm putting the guy back together. How tall are the necks on those things, Doug? Uh, I'd say probably close to a foot tall. What are you talking about? The whole bottle? A foot? Yeah, I'd say roughly that. Somewhere around that. Pretty good sized bottle. It's going. It's angling up. Uh, we've got the... You can see up here. Pretty much the top of the ground. So below the plow line. So it's only a big huge rock down here. It's crusty. This dirt. Yep. clay down here at this level. So it's tough to get this stuff in. What happened to your plastic? Oh, that's beautiful, Doug. It's still going. Hey. What happened to the plastic? Yeah. What plastic? You're uh, digging the trench into it. Oh, that's it's back in, back in my tub in the hotel. I tried to use a plastic trowel when I'm digging stuff like this. So. Uh, he's got it out now. Oh, that's beautiful, man. You need to get that water out Good of there. Good looking bottle. Man, it's sweet. It's cold as it is. That is beautiful. Is that a green color? Yeah, it's got like an amber green color. Depends on how you look at it. That's nice, Doug. All right, uh, I'm back after lunch. This is my first good target. Uh, it's a four-hole underwear button. It's on trouser button. It's a good find. All right, hopefully I'll be back. All right, uh, I'm back out in this big cornfield, but uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> I ain't really found a whole lot. But I've got a uh, good signal here. Ring up on the TDI's a uh, high tone. It's pretty much always brass. I don't know if you can sit there. I don't know if I can get. It's got a little green going on right here. I don't know if you can make it out or not. Maybe it zoomed in some. Let's see if we can get it out. J hook. Hmm. Yeah, broke J hook. All right, I'll take it anyway. Hopefully, I'll be back. All right, uh, I'm back with a good uh, signal. Looks like a button. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's more than a back. back of it right there you can see the shank but, uh, sorry if the wind's real bad if the wind's probably blowing 30 miles an hour let's see if we can get out of this clod without busting it up this is already busted that blame it don't know what kind it is but anyway it is a button all right I'll get back with you all right uh, I just found that other button right there 
made uh, two swings. Got another one. Hopefully it doesn't bust. Just looks like a that last one it looked like a general service cuff. It's the same thing. Alright. I found a piece of glass in this hole. I might dig it out a little bit more. Alright. Alright, it's Tennessee Jeff uh, back after uh, DIV 30. Uh, had a real good time. Met some nice people. Uh, I want to thank John and Rose while I'm thinking about it. And, um, all the people that helps put on a DIV. Like, this was my first one, and uh, hopefully I can make it back. Uh, I guess at uh, day one, I was thinking, well, I don't know. I drove all this way, uh, really not finding much. I can find a lot more at home, but then, then I, I started running up on some pockets of uh, relics, and then come to find out I've got a whole lot better chance of finding some very good relics there than I do here. But anyway, uh, I will be back, and... Uh, had a great time. Like I said, met a met a lot of uh, nice people. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start at the top. Uh, I've got my uh, 254 caliber uh, ringtail sharps. Um, got a fired uh, garner. A uh, few fired uh, three ring. There's one fired uh, infield. I think I've got two fired infields. Uh, yeah, I'll get to it in a minute. Uh, found this one. Uh, I believe it's a uh, uh, Williams cleaner. I'm sorry. Uh, of course, if it is, that'll be my first Williams cleaner I've ever found. It is shot, though. Of course, you can see the uh, part of the zinc base. It's still stuck on it. Uh, run into a spot. Uh, there's a little iron canister shot. Uh, run into a spot where I was finding some cuff buttons. There's a cuff back, and then here's three more cuffs and just general service uh, there's a uh, two general service coat buttons there's one that was uh, mashed I think they may have used it for a poker chip uh, there's a uh, another I think, overall button I don't think it's period I think it's more or less modern uh, there's another fire to infield um, there's that uh, busted up uh, general service coat few shot pieces uh, this piece right here kind of thing uh, looks like it belonged to a saw or something just a just a piece of iron uh, a little latch for something here's a piece of knife found this piece it's brass and uh, actually I'm not sure if it's not a the edge to a buckle of course I found one piece and then I uh, started digging around and got another high tone and dug this piece and of course I kept on looking for other pieces but couldn't find any um, just a little what uh, really not for sure what this iron piece is anybody's got any idea just let me know it's uh, kind of favors a fired bullet but it's iron with the you can see the hollow base in it um, pistol bullet uh, another shot three ring this piece right here it's a uh, hammered out bullet and actually, I'm thinking they may the soldier may have used it as a pencil. You can see the end of it; it's been uh, marked up a little bit, like they had been writing with it. I'm really not for sure. Uh, of course, horse tack, uh, a couple of uh, cartridges, like a little 22 cartridge, cartridge and a 22 bullet. And uh, found this. Uh, it's when the uh, they used to like swab their barrels with it and pull the. Uh, uh, I don't know, some kind of cloth up and whatever kind of cloth they used up and down the barrel. And I have, I've got some bullets that have been pulled with that. You can tell it didn't have the screw in, it just had, uh, like you can see the prongs around the edge of it. And these prongs, they dug into the bullet and they pulled like, uh, pulled the bullet out with that. Uh, found a little, uh, uh, some kind of suspender clip or something other. It's got a, fine pants on it and uh, really not for sure if it's period or not uh, of course the average square nail uh, another shot a few J hooks uh, trouser buttons uh, that was a smaller 
trouser button and then uh, there's another uh, cuff button this button right here it's a uh, button back but I don't know if you can make it out. it's got a hole where the shank went and then of course I dug it and then of course the, the way the light was hitting it I could have swore it was a block A and then uh, of course it got all excited and then, of course after I got it out of the ground I realized it wasn't uh, high impact bullet that's pretty nice I like that one um, just uh, a few a few more little brass pieces but uh, I guess the fine for the hunt uh, this is 1854 seated I don't know if it's going to zoom in there it might but anyway it's in it's in fairly good shape actually I found it the same place I found these uh, two ring tails of course I, I hunted that place hard for about two two or three hours and really didn't get anything else uh, did find this uh, <clears throat> piece right here. It's a uh, um, I got to looking up on the uh, internet. And I believe it goes to a horse harness for the artillery. So I found it uh, close to where I was finding the cuff buttons. I started getting a bunch of overload signals and. Uh, so happened I just dug one of them. I probably should have dug them all. I wish I had now. But anyway, that was a decent find. Well, uh, that was the finds. And uh, I want to thank uh, thank John and Rose again. Uh, it's uh, nice uh, being up that way hunting. And uh, But anyway, uh, that was the finds for DIV30. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.